Hey, thanks, Christina. Man, I, I miss Christina. Hey, so earlier this morning, I was sitting there watching the keynote with Satya, and he talks about this thing called WebNN. And I went, self, what is WebNN? And I thought to myself, hey, let's bring a, uh, my good friend, an Intel fellow, Mo, right here to the build stage to talk a little bit about WebNN. Welcome, Mo. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us. There are applause, applause in the room. Yes, of course, of course. Okay, I need details. Talk to me a little bit more. The keynote, it, it, it wet my whistle. All right, so I am super excited to be announcing here at Build the availability of WebNN for Dev Preview, a very powerful API that is going to bring AI to the web platform on all devices, on all browsers, taking full advantage of hardware capabilities of AI PC. Okay, ready now. All right. So uh, today, um, between 60 and 65% of the time people are on PC, they are actually on the web. Duh. True, sure. that's me, all day. Like video streaming, uh, um, video entertainment, education, search, and all the applications that are there. Bringing AI everywhere means bringing every AI to the web platform on the device. In fact, with age of AI PC be has begun, the device, the AI PC, is best suited for running a lot of those experiences on the device. The way it is done right now, it is through the magic of a URL. You go to the cloud and you execute your inference in the cloud, but the device is capable of doing that. Much better latency, less cost. Why do you have to pay service for that when your device is capable of doing that? And much less overall energy consumed and better privacy protection. So with AI PC, the Intel Core Ultra has three AI engines. CPU, GPU, and NPU that you heard this morning in Satya and yep. Pavan's uh, keynote, each having its own sweet spot. Like if you want to do something quick, turn around, lightweight, CPU might be the best choice. If you want to do something throughput oriented, GPU must be, might be the best choice. And if you want sustained, power efficient, AI experience, NPU might be the best choice. And w this complex system, to program that by right? web developers who are not ninja system developers, they need an API. And it is my privilege to be announcing today with Microsoft the preview availability, web, uh, dev preview availability of WebNN, a, a W3C standard API across all devices, operating system, and uh, fully capable of taking advantage of hardware capabilities. It is intrinsically supporting the ex uh, heterogeneous execution engine of the system, uh, AI PC like CPU, GPU, NPU. It is already integrated in the most popular machine learning frameworks like Onyx Runtime Web. It is, it's one of the backend uh, execution providers of Onyx Runtime Web. And it delivers near native execution characteristics, near native performance, near native power. You will see the results now. More importantly, its methodology is general and it supports computational graph. So any model can be translated to WebNN. Bring your own model. That is WebNN. Okay, Mo, I want to ask you, how big of a deal is on-device Web AI, and in particular, WebNN? It is absolutely transformational. Now the developer, for the first time doesn't have to worry about the backend service. The application itself is equipped with the software to run on the AI PC, delivering AI experience with near native performance. I think with 17 million web developers, we will see a surge of web applications that are designed with AI integrated in them from scratch. So, it is an API, standard web API. It can be used directly by the developer. It can be used as part of a framework, use Onyx Runtime Web. Then it runs on WebNN and takes advantage of hardware capabilities. It can be used inside the browser. It can be used outside the browser. The implementation take care of that, running it efficiently, mapping it to the hardware platform that the system is running on. 
It is a JavaScript API. Any machine learning model can be translated to that. Its performance is near native. By that, we mean above 80% of native performance. Here, you see across 15 WebNN models, it is about 93% performance of native through WebNN with all those additional advantages, cross platformness open API, et cetera. On GPU, here you see across these 26 models, above 83% performance of native delivered by WebNN. And on NPU, the same, above 80% of performance uh, of native delivered by WebNN. So here is a website hosted by Microsoft. I highly encourage everybody to go and explore these exciting AI experiences. It gives you a glimpse of the more exciting web is, that is going to come very, very soon. So now here, I'm going to show you a number of these demos. We start with segment anything. Basically, the idea is you click on a point in an image, and you want that part of it get segmented for you. Here we go. WebNN, uh, as execution provider of Onyx Runtime Web, running on the Edge browser. You see, you click anywhere, and that part gets segmented. Like 30, 30 milliseconds, 40 milliseconds. Why do you not want this and you want to go to the cloud to execute that? 40 milliseconds, this is... It takes 30 really milliseconds really fast. just to build the package to send to the cloud, right? Yep, <laughs> so it's just one a simple example that you saw that here through Onyx Runtime Web. Now I will show you stable diffusion. Uh, here, through a prompt, we ask the system to generate picture of a cat with some random seeds. You get different cats, uh, blue eyes covered by snow. And here you see in, in three seconds, the images are created. In fact, it is faster than three seconds. It is less than two seconds because the video is being recorded at this, on the same machine that this generation is happening. In fact, it is like two seconds to, to get that. And here, you basically see a, a different uh, generation uh, of stable diffusion on this demo. So, and you, you can come by Intel Boot and play with that, generate anything you want, humans, etc., and with, with the same speed. Next, I will show you NPU execution, WebNN running on NPU. We will show you object detection in live camera running on NPU. In that demo, they, we show a phone that is having a, a movie to the camera of an Intel Core Ultra laptop. And the object detection is done by NPU. The video, the, the camera capture is done by GPU. Here we go. So you see on the left side, object detection at more than 100 frames per second running on NPU. On the right side, you, in the task manager, you see NPU utilization high, GPU utilization high, because GPU is capturing the, uh, 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 the, the media stream and NPU is doing the object detection. This is AI PC at its best. It is delivering this experience. Each part of the system is executing what is it what it is good at, and you get basically this experience. And as mentioned before, NPU is designed for sustained AI experience, power efficient AI experience. Next, I'm going to show you a demo of NPU running on, um, on Khan Migo. It was great to see Sal Khan in the keynote uh, yep. the, the, this morning with uh, Kevin Scott and, and also Khan Migo mentioned uh, in, 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 in basically the uh, CEO keynote. As a result of collaboration with Khan Academy and Microsoft, we have a proof of concept demo of speech to text done on AIPC using WebNN. Today, Khan Migo uh, essentially Khan's innovative, intelligent tutor and teaching assistant for students, for teachers, and for parents. You can interact with the system through speech. You record your speech, you submit, it goes in the cloud, it goes to the cloud, it is, gets translated, and the result is sent back. This is a proof of concept that the same experience, you can actually do it with better latency 
on AIPC. So here I stay quiet, and you see the student is talking, and speech to text is, is being performed on the device. And to show you, to make, uh, to make you confident that it is actually happening on the device, we disconnect the Wi Fi. And you see, without network, it is delivering the same experience. Here we go. Let's debate whether should be sound. is necessary yep. or if it should be banned. I don't. Yep, it's going. All yep. right. I'll take the side that homework is necessary. Please Here's note why. NP utilization. Homework is like the extra practice you, see, you do in sports. There is ne no network. It helps you get better at what wow. you learn in school. Just like practicing kicking helps you get better at soccer. Now we send the query. So here, basically, this is the beginning of a trend of bringing a lot of AI experiences to AI PC where it is best suited for the device to execute. So, and that is some of the demos that uh, we have, and there are a lot more at the website. I want to point out that second part of that demo if you saw it, you're paying attention, completely disconnected. It's not sending it, everything is happening there. And it was so fast, the response was so fast. That is In absolutely fact, amazing. The speed of speech to text on this demo is three times faster than the speech itself. So it is perfectly real-time speech detection on device on AI PC. Three times faster three than times I can speak. It's like and I talk fast. <laughs> system is faster, NPU is faster. So. <laughs> All right, Mo, I have to ask this, is WebNN an Intel only thing? Is this an Intel Microsoft technology? What are we talking about here? No, WebNN is an emerging Web uh, W3C API standard API. Full it is, open standard. It is open or, or API standard, for yeah. all devices, all browsers, inside browser, outside browser, using web technology. It was initiated by Intel and Microsoft. My colleague Nin, Nin Shin Hu and Duane from Microsoft, they are the editors of the spec, but since version two of WebNN, we have part, great participation from other industry leaders, Google, uh, Hugging Face, and many others. So, and recently, Apple and NVIDIA have also joined the working group. So it is a, an industry coalition to bring AI to the web in the spirit of open web platform, like video on the web. And I think it, it is much more transformational that, than video on the web because it can be an essential part of everything, not just the video, every experience on the web can now become intelligent. In the next minute or so, can you talk a little bit about other uh, web APIs for AI, and then in addition to that, what about ML or machine learning framework? Sure, so there are other APIs. Uh, already WebAssembly is there for execution on CPU. WebGPU is a, again, W3C API for execution on GPU. But WebNN is the one and only API that can target all these uh, hardware execution okay. provider, okay. Okay. CPU, GPU, and NPU. And in particular, it is the only API, general purpose API for AI that can target NPU. So uh, we have spent uh, a lot of time with Microsoft, with Google, on ensuring the um, efficient in interplay between these APIs. So all those can be used, and again, depending on the model, depending on the context, uh, different execution uh, engine can be the, 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 the better target for that. But API, WebNN is just unified API and it supports all those platforms. I encourage everybody to try it. Please join us in sh defining it, shaping it, the future. Visit our booth and make sure tomorrow you attend the breakout session by Microsoft. Adele will talk about more about WebNN and also her labs. Please go to her labs. Okay, real quick. In like five seconds, when is WebNN going to be available? WebNN is already available for dev preview on Done. GPU. Please just Done. see the documents, download the right Edge, uh, uh, edge uh, dev channel and, and Chrome dev channel. You can experience that. 
you have any question, please contact us. Please contact me myself directly, and I'll help you Perfect. get started. Perfect. This is Thanks, the beginning buddy. of, uh, I think, an exciting time. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And if you at home want to learn more about WebNN and Intel, visit our featured partners page on the built.microsoft.com website. We're back with more Build after this. Thank you so much, Joey.